Hello friends and welcome back. It's Tuesday and boy do I have a treat for you. Guess what I got to do this past week. I got to meet one of our favorite fabric hosts, Olga from Olga's Closet. It was so exciting as she walked me around her warehouse and showed me how the entire fabric processing system worked and I was so stoked. First of all, I was a fangirl because I was just so giddy uh, to see a woman just kind of holding her own, doing her thing with her business. It was very exciting. Have you ever wondered what a fabric warehouse actually looks like from the inside? Well, I'm gonna show you because we're friends, but you gotta stick around. I'm Nye with Ellie and Mac. Let's go, friends. Now, before I get started, let me slip into something a little more Olga's closet. Much better. Now that I'm dressed for the occasion, let's talk. So I got to visit Olga's closet. It was a complete blow my mind situation because, and let me tell you, I did not plan to meet her. I literally travel from my front door to my driveway. And that is the highlight of my day unless I'm picking up my kids. So I never get to meet anybody in the fabric world. And for me, like this was huge. So what happened was, and it was by accident, my husband and I, we had flown to San Diego because he had some sort of conference that he wanted to go to. And I just wanted to see San Diego. Like when we arrived in San Diego, I got an email and it was from Olga's closet. I had purchased a whole ton of fabric, which I'll show you in a minute. And it said San Diego. And I was like, what? Oh no, 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 no. This cannot be real. So I look at the package again and I'm like, it is real. I cannot leave San Diego until I see her. <laughs> so I was stoked because I was just like, oh, this has to happen. So what I did is I found a contact for her on Facebook. I contacted her and said, listen, I have got to come see you. Please let me come have a look at your shop. I would love if you could just give me a little bitty tour. This would make like my whole day. I mean, listen, my husband had to go to a conference. Who thought that was gonna be super exciting? Not I, said the cat. <laughs> so I was super stoked to be able to visit with Olga's closet. So I did. She emailed me back. She was super gracious. She was like, oh yes, come along. I'm so stoked to see you too. So I went down there and um, first of all, it seems like a fairly in innocuous place. Like it's just a warehouse. Hey everybody, it's me Nai, and I'm here outside of Olga's closet and I'm so stoked because we're gonna get to go ahead and have a look inside at all her beautiful fabric and to meet her, yes! But when you walk inside, oh my goodness. You just get this sense of creativity in the air. You just want to grab all the rolls of fabric and live there. She had to talk me out of moving in. Like, I just wanted to move in. Um, I had a little chat with her, and I did a little interview. And uh, let's see how that interview went. Hi, friends. I'm here with Olga of Olga's Closet. Hello. I know y'all are jealous. <laughs> I know you are, because I got to touch all the fabrics today. Okay. And I am going to give you a total, like, view of what's going on back there. Shh. It's a secret, undisclosed location, so I'm not telling you where I am. You're just going to have to finish watching that video with me and Olga here. I am so excited to have you here. Like, inside, I'm literally like, mm -hmm. I love to show. I can't, I, I can't wait for y'all to see it all. I can't wait. She has a fabulous thing going on here. This woman has built an empire. <laughs> on, like... Thank on you. her own and it is stunning and it runs like a well-oiled machine back there so i thought maybe i could ask her a few questions about how she got started wow that is a little bit of a mouthful but i'll try to condense it a little bit um my family my mother and my aunt specifically have always been super crafty and like 
either they're making jewelry or they're doing this, they were doing that. And I've always was like, oh, I wish I could do that. My That side of my brain doesn't work exactly. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and um, my aunt passed away, unfortunately, due to breast cancer. And she had a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. kind of. And I was like, I need to do something. I need to kind of build something from that. And that's kind of how it started. I had it... Um, in my spare bedroom, which is why it's called Olga's Closet. In my closet, that's where all of the crafts and everything I had stored in there and kind of exploded from that room into the living room, to the dining room, to my entire house. As if you've been with Olga's Closet for a minute, you'll, you would know we used to work out of our home. My garage got overtaken <laughs> and now we're here. So <laughs> it's it's evolved. We're about ready to celebrate our three-year anniversary on Tuesday, October 26th. Happy birthday! So I'm very, very excited about that. I, I, I'm just surprised at how much we've grown thanks to all of you. Uh, it's just, it's amazing. So that's kind of how I started. Oh, that's <laughs> amazing. I love to hear stories like that because in a time where we are right now and everybody's kind of you know sad and the world is kind of crazy it's nice to hear a success story you know Aww. like and that warms my heart and it makes me super happy um also i wanted to ask you like what is your favorite fabric base like if you could pick one double brush poly i'm wearing it yeah no double brush poly for me i know it's uh it can be a little tricky for some depending on the climate I'm one of those, I love it so much, I'll sweat. I, I don't care. I, I absolutely love the fabric. It's so soft, versatile. I literally have everything in it from pajamas to tops to dresses. Wow. It's just like anything. Cause, and that's what I love most about it is the fact that it's so versatile and you can literally use it for anything. She makes a good point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, one more question okay. I'll ask you is... If you could change anything about the fabric community to make it better, what would that be? Wow, that is a good question. Um, I think having um, the openness to not feel shy and not feel um, that you can't express yourself and that you can't ask questions and that's why in our um, community group on Facebook, I really encourage everyone to like, no question is is a dumb question or you can ask as many times as you want because you'll get different viewpoints from many different folks. And, you know, and I think having that comfortability is what I am striving to hope that we will continue to build within our sewing community. I love that. And let me just tell you something really quickly. I just showed up on her doorstep, okay? <laughs> I like called her yesterday to tell her that I know where she is and I want to come <laughs> see her, okay? And she didn't get creeped out like, you know, stalker. She was like, oh, come on, girl, let's do it. And yes. I'm like, yes. So yes. I am in love with Olga. Aww, and her little closet, which is not so little. <laughs> Do you want to have a peek? You got to stick around. I'm Nye, and this is Olga. Thank you so much, and, I, I, and thank you for being here. <laughs> See you in a bit. Bye. She gave me a tour of how she does all of her fabric business. First of all, her warehouse is a well-oiled machine. She has a specific space that is meant for uh, pulling and filling orders. And in that space, each operator has their own computer, their own printer, their own stack of supplies. Like, you do not ever have to leave your station if you are working at her warehouse because everything you need is right there. When you come through the warehouse, she has every single roll tagged. Every roll has order numbers on it. Every order number has its own plastic bin that it goes in according to how many yards is in that order. Seriously. Who thinks of those things? I would just have a mountain of fabric everywhere. Probably because I would be doing angels in it. Not snow angels. Fabric angels. I would. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, she also has you know, tons and tons and tons of fabric rolls, but she has a special section. 
And this special section won my heart over because I am a fan of the bundles, okay? When I go on her website, I want the bundles because she does such a fabulous job of putting the bundles together. So she gave me a special peek at the bundle section, which I'll show you here. Each bundle is specifically chosen for the colors. Now you'll see that on her website, she has um, spring bundles, mystery bundles, there'll be fall and winter bundles. And so the fabric is gonna be a specific weight depending on which season the bundle is from. She even has monochrome bundles. Like if, if you want like neutral color, you can just get a stack of neutral colors. It's so fabulous. So each little fabric is chosen, like she'll pick one fabric. And then she says, you have to choose the colors and go to the left and then choose the colors and graduate on the right. So it's like every fabric is gonna go with the fabric that's next to it. And so what you end up in the end is a gradient of color and somewhere in that stack, there are several fabrics that go together. And I'm gonna show you how fabulous it is with my little stacks back here, okay? She also has several people who work for her, all family and friends. Her children work there. They're actually grown-ups. And one of her daughters actually runs a lot of the logistics behind the scenes. And she has several people back there who cut the fabric, tag the fabric, and they process the fabric. They literally go through every single roll to inspect it. Each package, each yard is looked at a minimum of three times before it's packaged into that cute little plastic bag that she puts it in. I, I got to take a tour around uh, her fabric warehouse and I thought it was really fabulous. Can we just get a moment of silence for her success? Like, yay. And so I was happy to share the inside of her shop with you, not only because we're friends, but because I think that Olga's shop is fabulous. I think she's fabulous. And I think you should give it a shot. And if you wait to the end of this video, you might just get a special code. What? I will also leave a link up here where you can check out some of Diana's favorite fabrics. She actually has a video on that. I also have a video about fabrics and how to determine two and four-way stretch. You can go ahead and check out that video. If you like what I'm doing here and you wanna come back next Tuesday, cause I'm gonna be here every Tuesday, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the fun, especially when I'm gonna post here a special code.
just for you. All right, y'all. Make sure that you have a wonderful week and sell the things. Yes. Bye.